Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Danny Stone and thank you for joining me for what will probably be the last episode of this Crusader Kings 3 series as the Roman Empire. So um, we're going to be playing up until this guy dies so then I can actually inherit Frankie and see what it looks like. Um, but as stated in the previous episode I don't want to go further on because I feel like a change of scenery is needed and um, it is all getting a little bit too easy for me now. Um, anyway um, let's get rolling. So bim bam boom. So in the last episode we just destroyed um, the Zahirid or whatever it was called before that and took their kingdom in a holy war. Um, so now we've linked this up nicely. There's only this tiny little blob here that we need to take afterwards. Now before our Pope, our guy dies because he is ailing and I don't think he's going to last very long indeed, I would like to declare a massive war along the papacy. And what can I do? I can basically claim all of this and that's what we're going to do. Hell yeah, we are definitely going to do that. That is going to... Hmm. That's going to do fine. Yep, that, that'll be good. I'm going to do that. So let's go. Bim, bam, boom. Does he have any allies? He has no allies. You're dead, dude. You are so dead. You are old and frail. And we're well, not old and frail, but you're has been. And we'll raise the local army. That's the best thing to do. The local army is being raised. And we have more than enough to deal with him. And let's just go straight onto his goddamn capital straight away and smash him entirely let's go so ooh, oh we've got another cadet branch that reminds me how many freaking cadet branches have we got 37 houses in this dynasty this is insane look at all this it's just crazy we have to be the most famous family in the game we have to be well there's a new war someone else declared war on me who did which idiot? What, this guy? Are you kidding me? What the hell? Um, okay, so I'm going to have to raise more men here. Let's raise you from here. I'm going to raise the local army here. It's more than enough. Um, once these guys have been raised, I will send you to deal with this guy. Honestly, it's like meh. There's nobody helping them. Why the hell did he do that? That's just like suicide. It's literally mass suicide. Anyway, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, I've um, got another claim on the Pope. Uh, do I get to take that as well now? Maybe I get a claim on that as well. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, we'll just smash this little army here. So they're dead. And they're going to be dead. And there's no way they're going to survive this. Even though they're bringing in more men. But it's just more men for us to slaughter. We have more men at arms. We have better quality. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Bim, bam, boom. You're dead. Now we move here. And now we take care of his capital. Anyway, Stone of Glass. As I struggle to make out the tiny letters on the scroll before me, I feel headache once building a, uh, building once again. Why do my scribes insist on writing such small symbols? I squint and try again. Nothing short of a miracle with the aid of Stone of Glass. Even old men struggling with eyesight could read with ease. Okay, so basically I've got a pair of glasses. Hmm. What do I need to do? I'll probably need... I'll buy one. And we'll gain 300 lifestyle experience points. I'll happily buy one. Anyway, let's occupy. This shouldn't take too long. Yeah, look at the speed at which that is going. And by the way, let's go and have a look on the other side of the world. I would like a minimap. Where's my minimap? I would really like a minimap. I don't know why there is not a minimap, but there should be a minimap. And you're still moving. Where are you going? You're still going to the right area, so that's fine. God, I'm just used to having a minimap on the other Paradox games. I would love to have one so I can zoom quickly over to an area that I need to go to. Right. This is going to be occupied. Then maybe we can finish the war. Maybe. Nope. 44%. I'm going to finish off these guys. Now, he's raising even more men. I think he's raising mercs. Yeah, he's raising mercs. But it doesn't matter. I'm just going to beat them up one by one. Go and catch this guy. Before they join together. Because I think if they join together. They could pose a potential threat. How fast are these guys moving? Very fast. Alright let's go and deal with them. Okay I've caught you here. We have the defensive terrain. No he has the defensive terrain. Okay so we've caught them yet. Yeah, what an idiot. He actually split them. So I think we're going to smash them. Before they could even reinforce together. Yeah they're not even trying. They've abandoned. And this is a another victory. Let's go and smash this guy, maybe. Oh, wrong button. Go and smash this dude. Let's go here, then. We're going to smash him over here. 
This is in my land as well, so I get the defensive advantage. There we go. Another massive loss for these guys. Oh, and we finished this war over here, by the way. What do I get for finishing this off? Just a bit of gold. Nothing really much, but oh well. He's done. Now I've got to zoom all the way over here. Again, a mini-map would have like solved so many problems. Right, you're going to go over here. I will disband you afterwards. I want to zoom all the way back out and go all the way over here. Please, Paradox, bring back the mini-map in your next update. I really would like one. It would be really good if we could get one. Anyway, let's go here now. Deal with these 900 men. It's, it's, I think it's lost. It's a bit difficult here now. I mean, I'm not even raising all of my men, and I'm not even paying attention to supply limit now, just because I don't really need to. It's just we're so strong and big, I don't think anyone can really beat us. And the only person that could beat us would be the Kingdom of Frankia, and... Even then, we could probably we could probably win it. And since they are going to be joined to us at the hip at some point, then yeah, it's just fairly fairly easy. Um, okay, we stack wiped them, have we? I think we have. Yeah, we stack wiped him. Oh well, let's take the rest of the land. He has now no men left. So I don't know what his plan is. He can't really do much, and we're just going to take these within a matter of weeks. All right, let's go. Boom, that's taken. Now we'll go up here. This looks like to have a pretty badass fort. It is a little bit... Well, no, not even. Wow, I thought that was going to be a little bit harder to take, but obviously not. Unlock a new lifestyle perk, so let's go for Faithful. Clergy Opinion, I think. Yeah, we'll go for Faithful. We'll be a man of God now. Yeah, I'm a quarter of the way through. I ain't going to get there. I, I don't think I'm going to get there to Mend Schism. And we're 100%. And now I'll just claim all this. What do we gain? A lot of fame. And there we go. So we gained all these contested titles. There's only a little bit left here. I think we could probably take that with the next guy maybe very quickly before I end things. I don't really know. Um, let's see what I'm going to do next. I think we could do a war against Tyrol. I mean... This guy has a few friends, but nothing really major. You can easily smash him. But let's disband all the troops. And then I probably need to hand out the land here. What do we have? Let's see what we've got. So, we have got the county of Lucca, county of Verona, and the county of Montferrato. So let's hand this to somebody. I mean, anybody. I'm not really bothered who, to be honest. You, you're the what? A courtier of someone, so I'll hand that to you. The next one we're going to hand over is in where? Luca. I'll hand the county of Luca over to somebody. Grant to anybody. I'm not really bothered who. There, this marshal of someone will hand it to you there. Just hand them all over to Greek people. What else? And one more I can hand over. And it's the county of Verona or Mantua. Oh, have I give over? Have I give one piece to somebody I shouldn't give? Maybe I might have given something I shouldn't give. Really? Oh well, doesn't matter. I'll grant this to you, maybe? No, your son of Prince Anobios, so not you. Your son of Du Artemios. Your son of a prince as well. Your son of a count. Yeah, why not? I'll hand it to you. You can have that one. And then for the last one... I mean, I don't really want it. The County of Mantua will hand that to... Some other random dude, I think. Anybody is fine by me. Yeah, I'll hand it to you. An evil paragon. You can have that. Okay, so that's done. Now, can I usurp... Or can you usurp Despotate of Italy now? Oh, that is cool. So I have claims then on everything in here now. I have, like, du jour claims, so... Let's do that. We gain more prestige. See how much we can get to. So that has been made. Let's make maybe the duchies over here. I mean, I could probably make them. Like the Duchy of Genoa. It's already been made. The Duchy of Piemonte. I can't. This one I have. The Duchy of Lombardy. So I could probably hand that to somebody. The Duchy of Verona. I will create. That is done. The Duchy of Emilia as well. will create this title. Venice. I haven't made the Duchy of Venice. Well, I'll make that then. What about Pisa? We made that. 
I think the rest have been made. So the Duchy of Venice, I will give to this Doge, I think. So that would go well for him. We'll go for you, give you the Duchy of Venice, because that is kind of yours. So I'll grant you that title. Um, then in here, we've got the Duchy of Amelia, I think. Who owns this? You do. So I'll grant this to you. The Duchy of Amelia, you can have control over that. That's fine. Now the Duchy of Verona. We shall hand it to you. Grant title, Duchy of Verona. Very good. And now Lombardia is the one we need to hand over as well. So I'll probably hand that over to any random individual. I'm not really bothered who, to be honest. What about you? I know you have a bit of... Do you have a bit of land? Oh, you do. You have this land here. So, you, my friend are now going to be a duke. So that is granted that title. So now I have claims over what's left here. Now I would love to make the king of Italy. Now I need to make sure you're orthodox Greek, aren't you? And what is... Yeah, I could probably make you queen of Italy. Or I could make you actually king of Italy, the duke of Tuscany. Yeah, you're going to be made king of Italy, dude. You're going to be despotate of Italy. Grant the titles. There we go. So we have another king now. I could probably transfer some vassals. Yeah, grant vassal to rightful liege. I'll grant these all. Do all this. Transfer them all to the rightful dude. And there we're good. So, now, how are we doing? We're looking very neat indeed, and now we're going to focus on going to war against this guy. Now, how do I do this? Let's see. Let's pop another location point, which I'll pop here. And do you have many friends, dude? That is the question. My claims is this, and I can push for all of that. You have a fair amount of buddies, actually. Who are your buddies? Okay, so we'll be fighting over here. I suppose we could do that for the last for one of the last wars. That would be something I would definitely consider doing. So yeah, let's do it. Why not? There's no reason not to. We're so goddamn powerful. I can even call in some buddies actually. Who can I call? Can I call in my house members? Um The Dew of Aquitaine. What about you, my friend? How many men do you have? I want to know how many men you have, dude. Three thousand? doesn't cost me anything to call my house members, um, so I'm going to call them in, just for the fun of it. And the despot of um, Italy, let's call you in. And I've got to have so many houses. Maybe the king of, or the duke of Orléans as well. Nah, not you. Now the rest is fine, I've just called them in just for the sake of it, because I wanted to call a few people in. Um, now, let's raise. I want to raise the local army here. And let's go and smash this guy to smithereens. So they're all joining, which is fine. They're joining, which is good. I don't even need to raise any more, really, to be honest. What I need to do now is occupy his capital, and then once that is occupied, we can kill him. Actually, let's go this way. I think it would be better to go this way, because then we can kind of get rid of his 1,900 stack, and then we can march all the way up there. Ally joins war, enemy joins war. We know, he's got a few people joining, but whatever. Not really that problematic. I mean, it's only down here, and... Yeah. Bring it on. Can I get a marriage with you and you can probably help us? No, I can't. That's a shame. Oh well. The secret exposed. So my vassal Du Pankratios has accused my vassal Du Theokristos of having an extramarital affair with his lover Demeter. Uh, God will judge these sinners. Can I do anything? Maybe. In what if I imprison some people? Like, what if I imprisoned, like, sinners? What would happen? Like, what if I was to imprison maybe you? Do I gain devotion? No, I don't gain devotion. That's a shame. Shame I don't gain devotion by imprisoning criminals. Um, anyway, who's my commander, by the way, here? He's leading another army, but we have this dude who's actually really good. So um, let's get him before they join forces. This is the war leader anyway, so once we occupy this guy, it's going to be all over. Again, we completely... Wow, we stat wiped that guy, so that was fairly easy. Oh, a call to war by who? By my dear son. Or a 
populist uprising. Okay, I will accept. And let's have a look at the uprising here. I want to see what's going on. Oh yeah, he can solve that on his own. He doesn't even need me for that. But I will go and join him at some point, probably. Just because we he would probably need our help. But let's go over here and deal with this guy. Take down his capital. We have the best siege engines in the land, so he's going to go obviously very quickly. We should be well supplied because my army is not that big, so it should all be good. All right, let's do this. Finish this off. Bam, 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 bam. Get rid of these messages. Okay, how long is this going to take? Not very long at all. Not very long at all. Now, once this is taken, where do I move? Probably to here. We'll just take everything bit by bit. I wonder where his men are. Oh, the 17k stack here, but they don't I don't know what they're doing. They're being total idiots. Doesn't really make much sense, to be honest. Oh well, we're just gonna occupy the whole of Tyrol, and that should be enough for the war, to be honest. Since this is the war goal. A secret exposed, so all there's no way to conclusively prove it. Duchess Kiriake of Delta has brought forward evidence that Barbara is not the daughter of Count Jonas of Lower Galatia, but she's the father by my vassal, Despot Tayyib. I am lost for words, oh my god, scandal. Massive immediate scandal. Another one taken. Let's go here now. Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, it's... um. Uh, I've got to find the game now once you hit a certain height of power. It is incredibly repetitive and easy. Because all it is is now is pretty much declare war, conquer, make claims, declare war, conquer. I mean, the game is good. Don't get me wrong. I really enjoy it. But it could do with a little more kind of flavor. Um, okay. Yeah, my chancellor has increased the opinion of our patriarch. That's good news. We'll occupy this. Occupied by our buddy. Um, let's move over to here now. We'll just conquer everything. Okay, there's a actually a fairly decent amount of men there, but I can take them. We can definitely take them with our buddies here. We have way better... Oh yeah, we have way better forces. Way better. So we are going to go back here and deal with them in a minute. Once we occupy this... This is going to be a good idea to test out the quality of our army. Now I've got that. Let's go and test. Let's go and test our very, very quality. The AI should follow us if they're not stupid. I'm hoping they're going to follow us. Let's try this out. They have crap quality. I mean, insanely crap quality. Scheme at court. So my spy master has come to me with grave news. You do not know you who, but someone is plotting to kill my prisoner Wahid. Sorry, Wahid. Not my problem. My problem at the moment is the coming war. These guys. Smallpox, a killer in our midst. So, the curse of death has fallen upon my call. The case of smallpox has been discovered. The unlucky victim is Yaya, one of my prisoners. Isolate him and pray for redemption. Throw him out. Yeah, I'm going to throw you out. Sorry, dude, but I don't want you in my court. I'm throwing you out to die. Anyway, let's go and deep get this guy. He should... Yeah, we're going to smash him. I think we should smash him pretty easily here. We have the commander advantage. His opponent supplies running low. We have men at arms. Um, yeah, we smash some... Yeah, now he's going to attack us. Smallpox, a new day. The outbreak of smallpox, which has ravaged my court, is finally over. Victims have all the recovered, recovered or departed from this world. Okay, cool. My physician has spoiled all the bodies. The physician, the physician is competent. All right, we need this guy to come and join us. Actually, do we? Oh, no, we're smashing him. Oh, yeah, God. Our armies are just so ill. Even now, it's just that we have so much better units than the AI. That even outnumbers, like 2 to 1, 3 to 1, we're, we're just smashing them. And this is another claim. And another war that has successfully been waged. And we are now pretty much very close to linking up with Frankia when we do take it. It's just crazy how, how easy it is getting now. Not to kind of brag or to sound too obnoxious, but it... The challenge has gone. I suspect that maybe with the succession, a challenge will be a, like more tr like will be trickier, I suppose. But for the moment, it doesn't seem to be that way. Um, anyway, let's see the Duchy of Tyrol. Can I grant this to somebody? I think I will. Um, I'm going to grant this to what about you. Uh, you're son of a royal. You're a courtier. I'll grant it to you. And you can have the whole duchy, I think, with everything in it. You can also have village and gauze, I think. I'm just going to hand everything to you there, dude. There we go. Okay, so I handed that to him. That's even more land for this dude. I'm liking it. This is good. The Roman Empire is glorious. 
it will be even more glorious when we take this. I am incredibly looking forward to it. Um, can I disband my men now? No, I can't because we have a populist uprising. Let's go and help out. Might as well. So who are we fighting? Who is... So the populists are over on the other side. So I think we should go and deal with them. Yeah, let's go and disembark over in um, France, over in England, and we'll go and deal with the guys. So where are you? You're here. Let's go. Looks like I'll have to go this way. We don't have many supplies. I might actually stop somewhere for some supplies, like maybe here in Guine. In Guine. I might stop there and gain a few extra supplies before we move on. We're 66, and we're not dead yet. <laughs> Spouse is up to the task. Okay, some of my chancellors, uh, councillors, sorry, believe the job is there by right of blood or influence alone. How, how long they are, I expect results, yet I am often disappointed. After a long day, I am complaining to Flaleka when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen the wits. So I can either use... He could use a tutor. We could get a count... To, well, chancellor and a Kodimos a tutor. Patriarch is in need of some guidance. So they all get study and learning. So what happens... Learning, what does that do? It just gives them learning. I'm gonna give it to the Patriarch. The more learning the Patriarch has, the better. What's our supplies now at 57? Yeah, we can easily smash this little rebel revolt, I think, with our highly professional and highly trained army. It shouldn't be a problem. I think I have enough resources. But I am gonna supply a little bit in Gein first. Because if we defeat the populist rebels, then the civil war is over. So let's probably wait a month and get a month of supplies. And then once we get a month or two of supplies in, then I think we can move. Yeah, I've got enough supplies now. Let's go. So I'm going to disembark over here. And then wait for the 30 days to go because, of course, let's just test this out. They have crap quality. We have good quality. Let's see how this works. Um, greetings. So I've discovered that do Alexeos contract obliges him to more than you collected. Are you my religion? You are. So... Fine, you're going to pay me more gold. Right, let's now wait here for 30 days. Oh, no. Oh, God. So, I'm going to have the low supply when fighting these. That's a bad move. Can I run away here? No, when's he getting here? Yeah, I'm going to have low supply. Crap. That is a really bad move. That was an awful move by me. Thank God we have way better quality men. Curse undone. So our rival's now dead. We'll do stress. So the rival's always died. Yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, we're fine. We're absolutely trashing them. Even with... I mean, this actually surprised me. Even with the minus 30 to combat advantage due to the fact that we recently disembarked, we still managed to slap them rebels, like, properly slap them. So... Let's go and deal with these. Actually, who are you? I'm going to go and deal with this force. Actually, I'll follow you guys and we'll deal with you. I don't know where they're retreating to, but I will catch them. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. Okay, okay. Let's see. So, Basilus Constantinos, the 10th of the Roman Empire, has been found peace in Christ embrace at 67 years of age. He died of old age. An old man. He lived a long and fulfilling life. Uh, hell yeah. It was the best damn ruler we had, by far. Um, Basilus Constantinos, the center of the throne. Oh my god. Okay. But why isn't the Roman Empire my primary title? We need to change that. Jesus Christ, look how big this is. Um, where's our primary title? I want that. As, I want my primary title as the... How do I do that? I want to set this as primary title. Make primary. There we go. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Oh, that is just beast. Oh, that is great. Look at the size of that. We even have, like, part of England. Oh, this is great. This is really, really good. I, I like this. <laughs> um, okay, um, I think I did say I was going to end it here as soon as um, we change ruler. Just, I see this now. We have a nice, cool Roman Empire. Maybe a bit border gory, but, but still... Um, 
I feel that I need a bit of a change to have a new, uh, I like have a fresh game really to keep myself motivated. Um, but um, anyway, thank you for all for joining me in this series. It's been an absolute blast, like 56 episodes. It's lasted forever, but it's been a bloody good one. And I just want to thank each and every one of you for joining me throughout the series, for giving me info, for giving me tips, advice, everything. Because I've been learning this game by playing with you guys. And it's with your tips, your advice that I've actually managed to get, picked, like, get better and better. And for that, I thank you. And I also thank you for your engagement, um, for your regular comments, everything. You're, you guys are amazing. You're the best. And uh, thanks again for joining me. If you enjoyed the series, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. If you really enjoyed the series and you want to see more content like this and you haven't subscribed yet, then please hit that subscribe button. It would make a big difference. But thanks again for joining me, everybody. Thanks for joining. Um, thanks for being here. And I will be with you in the next couple of days. Um, kind of keeping you up to date on another CK3 series I will do. I don't know what I will do yet. I need to kind of check the achievements, see what I can get. Um, but I'm definitely going to be playing a different religion than Christianity or than the Christian world. That means Christian, that means um, like Christians and Orthodox. So wait, I, I, I do want to do something a bit different. But again, thank you for joining me and I shall hopefully catch you all very soon. Bye for now.